the thing. What you do? What's good, everyone? Welcome to Kicks of the Trade, where we are bridging the gap between your casual sneaker fans and avid sneaker enthusiasts like Chris. <laughs> I'm one of your hosts, Kelsey Cristiano, and I am joined with Chris. Hey. What's good? What's good, homie? How you doing? Sensational, as always. Sensational. How, sensational. Oh, How you good. doing? Here, cheers. Virtual cheers. Virtual cheers. And we're back in like the real world, but we're, we're, no. we're virtual right now. Right. So we're, we're drinking on Skype again. Yep. Zoom. Shout out to Zoom. Zoom, give me Shout a Shout out to Zoom. Zoom, give us a deal. But um, I Throw like- back to those- Wait, what are you saying? This is sangria out of a box. And I just got harassed by my co-host about my box wine selection and that I like boxed wine. Yeah, that's disgusting. Come on, put me on. I don't know now. I, you know, that's one of like my like low key okay. goals I want I, to have is like to be like a wine connoisseur. Oh, okay. Well, you got to stop with the box a, wine if you're sommelier. trying to be a wine connoisseur. A sommelier. <laughs> so stop with box wines. What's a good? Wine? I have. What's a good red? I, wine? What's a good red wine? Mm-hmm. You're Man, on the spot I, well, now because people are gonna hear this and they're gonna be like, "Oh, that's some poopy." <laughs> So what's a good red wine? I mean, I'm not claiming to be like this, like, but you just, wine you just sewer, about but I'm wine. above boxed wine. Slightly. Are you though? Are you? That Are sounds you? really bad when I say it like that. Like, I guess Are I'm not you? necessarily above it. I just don't prefer to drink that because I think it tastes not great. Okay. And I prefer a little bit of a nicer bottle of wine. Okay. That's but fine. I mean, wine can be expensive. Wine, wine adds up. You're, like, I give can... me, all right, give me one good red wine that I should have. I can get. Or some that you drink. It depends on like, what you really like. I actually I rotate I rotate my wine. Like I don't like stick to like one type of wine. Like every okay. time I go to the store, I think I have like my go tos. I actually really like the Dreaming Tree. Dreaming red tree. wine. They do red and white wines, but it's um it's the guy. Uh, God, I'm blinking on on the artist. Is it uh, Dave Rapper? Matthews Band? It's Dave Matthews oh. wine. He like he made his own wine i can't think of and that's group. like a go-to non-expensive dave bottle matthews. what's the name of that group that dave matthews is in dave matthews man that dave guy <laughs> yeah but um yeah. Wh- okay so back to back to kickology what what's your latest pickup i know we haven't really talked about it we haven't really talked about like our latest pickups when you get back on copper drop too but like what is your latest pickup if you have one if you or haven't had one i I gotta be honest. I'm I'm like slacking on my pickups recently. Yo, somebody like, get me a new co-host, <laughs> and we're auditioning for new co-hosts of Kicks of the Trade. Shut up! No, be you're part not. Of show and not get have this pickups. show would not be the same without a new co-host, Chris, and to be determined later. Whatever. I'm not, I'm not Whatever. Just, Don't just, judge me. Hey, I'm, I'm real. I judgy can't. Judgy I can't spend <laughs> judgy. Dollars on no, no, no. Month, neither okay? can I. Neither can I. <laughs> Judgy McJudgerson. Well, I kind of got screwed. Okay. You know what happened a couple of months ago? What? What are you going to say? No, no, no. Go, 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 go. Because okay. I, I got a story as well. Okay. Well, I was I was going really hard on the sneakers app and I was like Word. going in on, on everything basically. Mm-hmm. And I was like hitting on shoes that I didn't necessarily even want. <laughs> That's the worst though. I feel like I wasted And then I end up and I'm like, ah, shit. Like, I don't <laughs> so want, I ended I hate- up by- but I did buy some Kobe's. I don't think we've talked about that yet. Mm. When'd you get them? What, what'd you get? What Kobe's? I got the Kobe sixes, the lows. They're oh, the you hit on those, those, you hit on those yeah. ones, right? Yeah. Black yeah, and yeah. yellow yeah. and white. Black and and yellow. I haven't put them on my feet yet, actually. What are you I waiting wanna... for? I know. I'll put them on tonight. I'll put them on tonight and I'll let you know how I, how I feel. Okay. So I wasn't sure if I wanted them or not, but I feel like I can like work out in them. That's what my friend does. He works out in his, his Grinch Kobe's though. Yeah. And I might like play some basketball. Shout out to Kadeem. Kadeem, Kadeem works. He'll work out on anything though. Him okay. and my guy Jay Baller, Jay Baller, like he works out. He'll work out in like Travis Scott's. He's on. That's his. That's his Instagram name. We're friends on Instagram, but he's actually from VA. But um, yeah. I'm trying. I'm gonna get him on the show because like this dude is like yoked, like super yoked, <laughs> bodybuilder. But he like, but he's known on Instagram. And he's known as like he works out in like anything. Like he'll work out in like. Jordan's he just got the he got the um the off-white Jordans the ones that we posted he got those he cut the, 
Huh? No, not the Chicago's, the white ones, the white ones. Oh, the, oh, the all white. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. He got those. He chopped the top off and then did the aging on the sole. But them joints are fire. I can't even lie. He cut. He the cut top the top off? off of them, but they're fire like low tops. But they're fire. He did a good job. So shout he out cut. to him. Okay. <laughs> I, this is hurting my soul slightly, like to hear that someone would do like something like this. And those are super rare too, because they only came out in Europe. I love that shoe. I know, but he. I actually should have listed that shoe as like one of my top shoes that I would like. I know. I I, every time I keep I thinking about that list, and I listen to that episode now, I'm like, God, I just, I did not do a good job with that. <laughs> I didn't do a good job. I think I was ready for that question. No, no, no. <laughs> what? Um. So you said you got the Kobe's. I actually have not. I've been, I've been slowing down a little bit. Like, you know, like I always got my eyes on stuff, but like, I don't really like uh, go after everything that comes out. I go after stuff that people forget about, but that I wanted a long time ago. That's what mm-hmm. I usually do. I usually like, I will usually like scour the, like the, the, the Ebays, the StockX, the goats to see for stuff that like I wanted. Like I got these starfish, I posted them, the starfish dunk SB dunks. I mean, no, excuse me, SB blazers. Mm. and like you don't see nobody walking around with them i'm the only mug walking around with them but like i pay like 100 like not even 160 bucks for them where'd you find them on stock x i was just like looking because i like to look for shoes that nobody else has yeah i haven't seen in a while or like people forget about like when they pop up and then they're like popular again everyone's like yo where you get those i'm like i was on them when like you guys were were they still thinking about dunks and jordan ones yeah when they weren't like being all hyped up yeah but blazers yeah, but blazers are coming back popular. I told I told my boyfriend. I just got some blazers actually. I guess that's would be my most recent. Yeah, that's a pickup. Yeah. You got the which one did you get? I just got the low top, the low top white and black. Basic blazers. <laughs> you know what? Base the bla- I'm a basic blazer bitch. Basic blazer <laughs> bitch. But no, the blazer, the blazer right now, I feel like is like the go-to shoe when you kind of want to be a sneakerhead. But like yeah. you don't really know what to get. It's like the new to me. It's the new Air Force One. Air Force, yeah. The it's really easy new- shoe to get into, but I I really like them. They're cute. They're easy to throw on. I wore them to the mall today, wearing like a dress. Got three pair. But the thing is, now I don't want to wear them because I feel like a basic bitch in them. So I don't want to wear them anymore. Oh, I think they're dope. I think the blazers are dope though. I, I just decided not to go with a high top because the like my high top is a Jordan one. Yeah, but the, for me though, it's like. It's a shoe that I don't mind beating. It's I have I don't have the high top ones, but it's a shoe I don't mind because it goes good with like a suit, yeah. and like you could beat it up, and like you don't really have to worry about it, and you could probably go cop another pair. Bucks. Yeah, so it's not I'm not really stressing on them. Yeah, um, yeah. but I think but, that's a, I think that's a good classic shoe, and is, like it's easy to dress up, dress down. Like I actually I wore them out to the bar the other night. I wore them to the mall. I could wear them to work. So they are like a very I'm, I'm, like versatile shoe. Very versatile. It's called a versatility. Versatility. What, versatility. What is, okay. So what is your most recent pickup? My most recent pickup. Um, Give me a new yeah. host. You didn't no, answer no. quick enough. <laughs> uh, my most recent pickup is those Fusion Jordan 1s. Oh. The Fusion. The yeah. Fusion. Yeah, like so everybody like keeps thinking they're red like and yellow. Papaya. Yeah, everybody look. So they're not McDonald's colors. I don't know why everybody keeps calling these the McDonald's yeah. ones. They look nothing like McDonald's. There's the only thing they have is yellow and white. That's it. Like they're not. It's not a red shoe. It's not it's red. It's a. Yeah. It's like a pink. So like, stop calling them McDonald's ones. They're not. They don't look like McDonald's. They don't like. They yeah. don't like Houston Rockets. They're. But I actually got them for my boy, and then he didn't want them. Mm. So I'm just like, I'm either going. Keep them or give them back. Yeah, because there's no resell, and I don't. I'm not. I'm not a big resell. I just don't like putting an effort in to resell. When I feel like if somebody wants, it's like somebody hits me up and say I want them or they want to trade. I was gonna say, why don't you put it on House of Trade? I did put them on House of Trade. Okay, I did. But um, if somebody wants to get my kicks up on there, by the way, the ones I yeah, hurry up. I'm ready to. I have special relationships with my shoes, and I'm nervous to get rid of any of them but, but the thing I is, will, the, we'll probably put the 11s that i don't like but the, the good thing is got. the good thing is you put them up there you can decide if you want to make the trade or not it just doesn't happen automatically you have to agree to the trade it's yeah it just depends on what comes up i'm sure you could probably get like a cool offer and i'd be like sure i didn't even so know i wanted this shoe well you got good you got a good size though yeah 
That's the thing. My size, though, like, it, it's in demand. Like, I have the same problem with, like, my clothing size. Like, it's the size that, like, the most people I feel like wear. And then it, like, they're either not available or, like, the pricing is, like, Insane. they resell higher. But that's, but that's the thing, though, for you. Or like, I that's why you have to go for everything when you're on the sneakers app. Yeah, because someone's going to want them regardless. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. So, so, all right, so let's do this. What we're we're officially at the mid well we've been officially but we're officially past the midway point of the year. Let's do a recap. What are the best releases in your opinion of the year so far? What's your midway sneaker of the year? What are some sleepers? What should what's like? Let's just let's just wrap. Let's wrap about like a mid a mid year review. How yeah. You feeling? Like for I guess what's the Let's talk here. What's the most noteworthy or newsworthy topic of the year so far in terms of sneakers? Noteworthy topic of the year in terms of sneakers. And it could be something that we talked about on the show or not talked about on the show. Yeah. I mean, the thing that really like draws my attention first would probably be the Nas X I knew you were gonna situation. Go there. <laughs> <laughs> like that just was such a controversial thing that happened w- w- involving a sneaker okay. um that just like blew up the internet for like a uh, three days or mm. whatever um you know and just and just the amount of people that were so pissed off at nike and lil nas x for this like collab that wasn't even sponsored by nike was not it was just like fascinating to me how angry people were getting at nike right and it was just kind of funny because i was just like that is exactly their intention the the company that um or what was the artist i can't even remember the artist misfit mischief 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 yeah like i feel like that was like their that was their exact intention oh yeah of course you can't have a name like that and then not push the envelope (laughs) yeah and they just like took it so over the top and people were just like like Basically, like canceling Nike over this oh, situation. Absolutely. Thousand percent. Thousand percent. <laughs> so, so that's probably like the most like thing that comes to mind mm-hmm. first. Mine is the the whole Nike execs son. Yeah. Like, reselling like, that was mine. That still burns a. That still grinds a few people's gears. Not mine so much anymore. It's yeah. like it was shoes I wasn't going to get anyway. Like I wouldn't be able to get or afford. So I'm not really tripping off of it. Yeah. Um, but. I was when it happened. I'm not going to lie, but it just, you know, as time passes, you understand, you get it, you know? Yeah. But that was, I think that was, I think for me, that was the biggest thing though, because it's like Nike just changed the whole protocol about like releases and how you go about how family releases are now. So I was going to say, did that change what, cause sneakers are always traditionally had, um, you know, you had to get there, get on there at 8am. Right. Mm-hmm. And, and, get in line and now the now i feel like i only see draws which gives people more time and it randomizes the selection more instead of like first to jump into the app it's like eliminating some of these bots out there i don't think Mm -hmm. those are as effective in the draw situation right that was the point that was the point and then like nike did this whole thing where like now like you just can't go on the sneakers app to cop they did this thing where like the exclusive release now is like you have to be interactive on the app so like yeah. go watch those stories go watch those um like little short movies they have or like the graphic stories yeah, you gotta there. pretty much watch watch nike's instagram yeah and their snapchat to who get to get like award the people that are actually using their app and right i'm like come on man I'm like, i'm like i'll be like okay I'll just so I'd be like, I'm like, wait, wait, spend wait, wait, a couple wait. hours doing this today. That's what I did. You know why I did it though? Because I heard that the off white, those canary yellow off whites, uh huh, were coming out on sneakers on sneakers app, and they did. And it was like, it's based on like how like your usage. I was on that joint for just like this. <laughs> it's like, I'm like I need it. I need a shot. But the thing is, I think this is my thing. I feel like Nike is they 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 doing everything but what they need to do. Do a loyalty program. If you cop a lot from Nike, you should yeah. get a you should get a, lo- a loyalty program. Like you should get 
like if you cop gear, if you go to the outlets, if you buy clothes, if you buy shoes, you should like move up on a priority list. Like how long you been, how long you been in a Nike member? Like I've been a Nike member since probably what, 2010, like mm-hmm. officially yeah. since 2010. Like that should put me in priority. Like I'm 10 years served on this joint. I probably spent, I don't even want to think about how much money I spent with them. Like in the outlets and at the stores, like I feel like you could prioritize and then eliminate some of those people who don't use the app as much. You know, yeah. but then people are like, well, I just started and I'm not gonna get a fair chance. Well, you have a balance of it, you know, like like yeah, they should like have like a gold, like a yeah, like, like a silver, like, bronze, silver, gold, yeah, like platinum. what finish line does. Yeah, that would make a lot of sense. It would, because like if you got a 15 and you're a gold member, okay, the 15 gold, they have like say there's a hundred, a hundred pairs of size 15. So the gold members say we'll a lot. 20 we're a lot 25 uh or 40 percent or 30 or whatever 40 percent to the gold okay then we'll do 20 percent 20 to the the silver and then the other 20 to the the bronze like that's what that's what you should do and then if and then say like some of the gold members don't go after it then that drops to the silver and then so on and so forth and then whatever else is left is a free-for-all yeah. Or first come first serve like they they could fix that man i just think nike i think nike is kind of playing on the fact that you can how bad sneakers is it's like it's almost good advertising or good marketing does that make sense yeah like it's so bad you kind of want to just try yeah you know it's like uh it's it's like it's that like, feeling of wanting to yeah how do you really system, explain it though system. it's like you you kind of like know you're going to lose, but like, you're still like, there's that slim chance that you're going to win anyways that you just like, you want to try, you know, it's like, <laughs> it's literally like the lottery, but work, but, but you may hit more. Cause like nobody, nobody ever bitches about the lottery. Yeah. I don't know anybody who's ever won the lottery, but I know people who play. It's, I, I think it's the same thing with Nike. <laughs> Nike knows, Nike knows the app is bad or they know people don't win, yeah. but the lower probability says you probably not going to win anyway. But yeah. we always feel like we have a chance because you hit once and it's like, it's like, you're like a fiend. It's like, oh, I hit once. I need another hit. Yeah. So. <laughs> I want to know who's, who's hitting on the really like exclusive drops though. Cause I don't ever. I never, I never, I don't even get the notifications for them. Like some, yeah. Sometimes I'm like, I'd be putting the note. I do the notifications and then I'm like, I didn't I get a never notification. Get never get them. Like, never get them. Yeah, I don't know if I don't know if I did something messed up in my phone or whatever, but like I feel like I'm just like, oh cool, didn't realize that was happening. Forgot but then if I put one. on like a, a wax shoe, I get the notification like they're like right on time. <laughs> I'm like, this is bull. What did you think of um, the the white fours that just came out? The Oreos. You I mean, those? yeah. I mean, to I me, I feel like a lot of people were like bummed about those. I think a lot of people are bummed because they missed. Yeah. But I thought it was, I mean, it was, I mean, to me, it's like a good, it's a good version of the white cement fours. I know I was like, going to say, like, they're, like, if you I don't want to pay the, that they weren't the white cement fours. Right. If you don't want to pay the white cement four but, money, then you can get those. And I, yeah. look, for me, I have them. I like them. So I don't need them. But I would get them to beat them up. So I don't beat up my white cement fours. Yeah, because they're like the same look, basically, but not like yeah, the same yeah. nostalgia. Nah, I don't have that. It don't that black hits different. But I think you could customize them. It leaves that door open for you to customize them. Yeah. I just don't think anybody ever will. Um. Okay. So we didn't even we didn't even get into our top. <laughs> we are. We getting so there. Far. We getting there. Be patient. Dang. <laughs> slow down. <laughs> So, are you ready you no you go i want to hear yours first my top shoes for the year so far uh-huh. whether top. you got them or not just but what top three is no particular order top three um i gotta think let me look let me look hey <laughs> hey y'all hold up bear with me for a second let me see what came out this year because i know because sometimes i think a shoe came out this year and it came out like late last year so let yeah. me just make sure because this year was crazy um, let me see. Upcoming, I don't know. Intermission break. Intermission. Um, but I mean, this year was filled with a lot of heat. 
honestly, what's your? I you know I will go with my sleeper pick though to start the year off. My sleeper pick is those tote fours. Mm. And fours, like everybody was like, oh, I don't like them because they crackle, blah blah blah. They, man, in person, those are fire. Yeah, they are fire. I haven't had a chance to wear mine yet because I just feel like I haven't put together the right fit for them. But those are fire. Just gotta like hit it like all black. Like they're so fire. Let those pop. They're so fire. Like black shorts and a white tee. No, black shorts and a black tee. Oh, so you all black in it. I'm all black in it. <laughs> all black. In it. Hey, speaking of all black, did you see Giannis was wearing some all black yeah, yeah, hair for some on. ones? Yo, I was like, bro's like, about to go no. zero for zero tonight. <laughs> From the line, he won no, they won the game. I guess zero for ten would make more they, sense. They won. No, nah, I know what you meant though. Yeah, <laughs> I know what you meant. Over. Sports are hard. Sports are hard. <laughs> Sports are hard. Sports. All right, so my top three. My top three. All right, so bear with me, y'all. So top three. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I don't want to feel like I'm missing something. So I'm. Look, guys, I'm gonna tell you full disclosure. I'm gonna kick some fire right now. Cause I don't want to do what I did with the like missing out on the Dior's. Like when I said missing out on the Dior's the last episode, I said what are the top three if I got any shoe and I did not say the Dior's. So I don't want to do that right now. <laughs> oh, I know my number one. I know my number one shoe of the year so far. What is the it? P Rod Dunks. Oh. The P Rod. Those are the multi numbers. like the multicolor ones, right? Yes, the multi, the, like the, the red. They're fusion. Wait, they're like put all the P Rods together. Is all that the, the what the dunk? Yeah, yeah, what the P Rod dunks. Yeah, yeah. That's my number one shoe of the year so far. I thought I think, you were gonna say that. I, they're they're super fire. They did a great job. Um, if you're a reseller, that's a good come up. Um, I just think it's a dope looking shoe. Like fashion wise, I think it's dope. Material wise, I think it's dope. They they because I don't always feel like Nike executes well on the what does, but mm-hmm. they did a good job on this one. I think it honestly, it might be the second best what the shoe in any out of any collection of all time. I think it's number two all time. So that's how good that shoe is. That's my number one so far right. of the year. So do you have a shoe? While well, okay, so you want me to go to mine? So my number one. one, but I know that's my number one without a doubt. You don't have to go to your number one though. My number one is gonna be the Jordan Three Ama Meniere. Ooh, I got him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's my number two. Okay, that's your number two. That's a yeah. I love that shoe. That, that shoe is just so. That so pretty to me. As as I would say at the beginning of the show, sensational. Sensational. That shoe is on another level. A sexy shoe. That is a very, very elegant shoe. That's very, one shoe I good. wish it was a men's release. Yeah. Well, you can say, I think they, they went up pretty high in sizes, but not to your size, I don't think, right? They stopped at like 12. Yeah, yeah, 12 is not big. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. So my number two then... <laughs> I think would have to be. Wait, hold on. Can we can we still talk about this shoe a little bit more? Because this shoe needs to be appreciated. The Jordan threes. Oh the Amon Am- 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 Yes. Yeah. Let's like, talk about it. Like that shoe. The, I just think what what makes it so fire for you. Let me go hey, get look, it. Hey, so like, Plus. let me take a step back. Okay, for all my people who are not familiar with the shoe, do yourself a service and go Google this shoe. And don't just Google it and look at it. Google it and look at it. And by that, I mean, like, really appreciate the textures, the the details that they put into the shoe, the Nike heel tap. The Nike heel tap gives it that classic look that I just absolutely love. The subtle hints of, like, the the gray, the gray with the tan and the brown and the white. Oh, it's a perfect shoe. It's literally a perfect shoe. I mean, I'm just giving the people telling the people like how dope this shoe is and that they need to go online and just look at it. Yeah. Really okay. appreciate it. Like I'm going to do a demonstration of it. Okay. This is the first awesome thing about the shoe. The, the packaging is just like great. Yes. It's just really pretty. And it comes with this like little sleeve thing, you know, and it's got like the, 
It's like a Jordan. The uh, uh, company, the the sh- shop that made the shoe or designed the shoe, it's got their logo on it. It's just cool. It's just aesthetically cool. Like come out. Ooh. Cool. Like when you open it, you're like, oh my god, I'm a little, a little it's boy unveiling. on Christmas morning. This is so exciting. And then just, it's just a pretty box. Like you know, it's that's, very pretty. It's that's so pretty. pretty. This is a box I will keep. I will not get rid of that box. Oh what? <laughs> what? And then this is just such a just a classic looking shoe. Oh, I love God. the the like, texture. Look at the, just look at the tongue. Look at that tongue. Mm-hmm. And the oh, other look one at the has stitching. So yeah, like the stitching. It's got the A oh. here. This shoe is not appreciated enough. And then the other shoe um, has the Jordan, the Jumpman Jump logo. You can you can exchange the laces for like a cream lace. They've How much do they like, retail for? I think they were they were retailing for like two hundred. That shoe honestly should have retailed at two seventy five. I think yeah, it was like I think it, was it like should have retailed at two seventy five. Just just because they did so Classic much Nike stuff. on the back. I don't like that even that like that it. like the pillow like the 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 stitching on the inside the way they did that is, mm-hmm. it reminds you like like a high end luxury car just sitting in the seat. Yeah, like the piping. Oh, I love it. Yeah, I love can't it. Say, this can't say this kind of reminds me of, well, slightly in a way. I, Jordan 2s really don't give that much love. Actually, we should talk about the new Jordan 2. We will. We but, will. In the well, in the back end, we'll talk about like what year shoes were excited. Yeah, for but it kind of reminds me. Do you remember like the Just Dons? The yes, Jordan the Don C's. All blue. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he yeah. came out like, yeah. They kind of have this like similar... Uh-huh. Yeah, um, that. stitching that you see inside the Jordan threes that I'm holding up if you're looking on YouTube, but Check I just I love this shoe. I think it's it's perfect. I, I really like Jordan threes. Like Jordan threes, I think are like my favorite. probably my favorite Jordan outside of a Jordan one. Like especially for for a girl, sometimes it's it's hard. Like if you want to look more sporty, like the bat the bass more basketball classic looking shoes can be a little bit more difficult. For me, um, Jordan one is not my favorite silhouette of all time. The which one? Jordan 4 is my favorite silhouette. That's your favorite silhouette? Jordan, Jordan 4 is not my favorite. But I think I think Jordan 4. I think the 3s are mine. There you go. Yeah. I think the 3s. I like the 3s the most when I wear them. I just don't feel like the colorways hit like I want them to all the time. Really? I think 4s have better colorways. I think 3s sit good, sit well. But they just yeah. have great colorways. And yeah. they don't like really switch up the materials like they do with the fours and the ones. Yeah. Well, the ones they I like the do. fours. I like the fours a lot. All right. So what's your number two? Those. What's your number two? Okay, so that was my number one. You're not going. You're going to hate my number. You're going to hate my, my number, number two. I think this year would probably be the Jordan Four University Blue. Really? Yeah, I like that shoe. There's nothing wrong with it. I'm just surprised you picked it as like that high. Well, actually. Mm, Probably, maybe it wouldn't be two. Can I take it back as my number two? You can, because you know the university. You know the university blue ones came out this year. Yeah. And you're gonna put the fours over the ones. I I like the fours better. With it's the, okay. Like I'm, I'm just asking. A, I'm just yeah. asking a question. There's no wrong answer. I'm just curious. I'm just yes. Okay. okay so let's 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 hold off on that one actually because I want to talk about another four. That we haven't talked about yet that i think actually deserves the number two spot in my countdown which would be the jordan four um union uh collab oh no, no. you don't like them honestly those shoes are super overrated to me personally why I'm not to you. People i like the taupe the taupe haze people are not gonna like me for that i'm i know i'm gonna get some backlash on jordan this. four taupe haze number if two did, let me ask you this and you may, and you're probably not, you don't fall into this category, but this is for people who are listening, who are going to give me flack about this, these Jordan 4s. If it didn't say Union, or if it wasn't a super exclusive release, would you feel the same? Like if this shoe came out in Foot Locker, I, because to me, this looks like a shoe that would sit in Foot Locker. Because remember when those like, those Joker 3s came out? There's a three that came out in like the Joker colorway. Those okay. sat. Those taupe haze remind me a lot of those. And if it didn't say Union, I I believe that they would sit. I promise you they would sit. Are we calling it taupe hay now? I don't know what I'm calling it, but I call it taupe. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Taupe or Tope? <laughs> Isn't it Topes? I don't know. I think the it's colorway? Taupe. Oh, you're talking about the actual colorway. Okay, color so you're way. talking about you. What were you saying? The Jordan four Jokers. Three Jokers. Oh, Jordan three Jokers. Let me get a refresher on what this is. I but I, I just think to, you're overrated. I personally I have to respectfully. I mean, right. I don't like those shoes. But like, that's what they were. But that's the thing. It green has and that, black. But it you're has comparing that. Comparing the unions. Yes. yes. To no, that. Because I, I think it was sit like that. Man. Those sat in the stores, and um, I think the unions would if they didn't say union. Like, look, they made. I gotta it- be honest with you. I really didn't know all that much about union, like really at all. I think I started paying attention to them when they had the off noirs. <laughs> mm-hmm. Off noir. Off noir. But those um, were fire, but not the ones that just came out. I'm not too excited. I wanted a pair to see them in hand because I'm always like, maybe they're better in hand. But I didn't even try. Yeah, I. I mean, I didn't get them. But obviously. I cheer for everybody who got them. <laughs> I cheer for everybody who got them. You, I hope you're happy for the people that did. I wasn't Absolutely. one of them. But no, I like. I really like this shoe. I mean, I just. Hey, I think hey it, you know what? I we think can it's agree. A cool shoe. We, can, we have we a little have... bit of different style. It's okay. We don't. Have to, I mean, I'm more swaggy than you. It's okay. I think that I like the taupe ones a little bit better, but the I know the desert ones we're, we're, are we're selling. We're, we're less i i will probably actually try to get these um you know eventually all right They're so i guess yeah. i gotta get my Your number turn. three yeah so my number three people probably not gonna like but i don't care the yeezy 450s okay the wonton soups the chicken dumplings whatever you want to call them those <laughs> that shoe was fire to me like it's a great summer shoe i still think it's hot I actually still want a pair, but I just cannot build myself up to pay that resale price, and I never will. What but I think people? that is, and then my We're honorable not reselling crazy. The resale anything above retail is too much for me. I don't, I don't like paying retail like resale. resale. And then I my think these honor- are ugly. Who? These are ugly. I know they are, but they're like <laughs> it's like it's like that ugly. It's like the ugly vibe, but it's like fire at the same time, mm-hmm. and it's so different that I like it. Yeah, it's like it grows kind of, on you, just like the foam like runners. The foam Balenciaga like with like the sock. Mm-hmm. The foam of. runners were my number five, and then my and then my two honorable mentions are the undefeated Kobe Hall of Fames, the under Kobe fives. Okay, that's my that's my number three, and number four, and then my number five is the foam runners. Okay, the white foam runners. So, Have you gotten your fo- gotten some foam runners yet? Nope. Think you're ever gonna land them? Yep. I Eventually. Believe. I'm gonna get those red ones in October. You know what you could do is look on Amazon and no, <laughs> find a fake not. pair. Absolutely not. Hey, I will trade somebody. I'll trade I'll <laughs> trade somebody two pair of Jordan ones for a pair of four fifties or foam runners. Okay. So anybody listening out there, get on house of trade. I'll give you two pair of Jordan ones for a pair of foam runners. Size 16. Six. Oh, you four just run, run small? Yeah, they run small. They run somewhat small. All right, what's your what's your what's your number three and your honorable mentions? Oh, before we get to the next one, did you see that um Yeez, or Yeezy was uh suing Walmart for I like did. I did <laughs> for selling well they stopped selling them wave runner or not wave runners, foam runners that yeah, yeah, foam like runners. Them. Yeah. They stopped selling them. Yeah. So fun, fun little fact. Okay. What am I on? Um, I guess You're on if I, give, three. I give number three to the University of Blues fours. Okay. So you got two University Blues in there. Yeah. I got a pair of threes and two fours at this point. <laughs> there you go. So I like those. Um, you know what? I actually, I don't know if I can give it like a shoe like of the year or so far in my top five. Um, I really like these, but I didn't get them. But the Jordan One Neutral Grays. Do I like oh, basic I don't, sneakers? The the two point oh's, <laughs> Shadow two point oh's. No, they're the white. They're the white Jordan Ones with the gray swoosh. Oh, the lows. No, the oh, highs. The high, highs. Those are fire. The eighty fives. 
Yeah. Yeah, the eighty fives. I like those. Yeah. I just I, I, think, I really like me, those. Though, I just know I would never wear them, and I think there were better shoes out. Yeah. They're fire though. Don't get you me just wrong. Have, I think you have a more style. Like you like the funkier, not necessarily funkier, but like more like. I like in pop. your face kicks, and I, I think pop. I'm a little bit more of like a neutral person. Yeah, that's fine. That's fair. But that's what we work. Yeah, so that would I would put that one in there. Um, you know, and I think I'm changing my mind on those Yeezy, uh, the Quantum. Oh, you don't like them no more? No, I like them. Oh yeah, you always said I, you like them. I put them on my on my feet because th- there was a store here in Denver that was that had them for All sale. Access. And I decided not to get them. Hey, all, access, to all, access. all access kicks. Shout out to all access kicks in Denver. Yeah, right? I'll be back. Gotta, I'm gonna I'm find, find a new pair. Get, some, get some 15s in there. And your boy will be in there ASAP. Oh yeah. Who? Hey, I have a friend actually who's size 15. I need you guys to meet. He's he because he's he's saying he was looking for a guy that has a size 15 feet. So I was like, I'll hook you guys up. Is he um is he uh, a sneakerhead though? Mm-hmm. Tell him to get on the on the site. I will. I will. House of Trade. I've let him know, but I'll let him know again. I'll remind him. Yeah, hit him up. Plug us up. Um, but but yeah, I like those actually. I, I I'm kind of bummed that I didn't buy them when I was in the store. I think you can still get um, them. They're still available. I, yeah, I can still get them. I can still get them. And I might I might. I, in the moment, I was like, I don't know how I feel about them, but I I think I could pull them off. If you still feel that way now, then you definitely should get them. That's exactly. Like it's kind of like a sign, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Thinking okay. about it enough. So um, your number three is the the university blue ones. University blue fours. I thought that was your number. What was your number two? My number two is the uh, was the union for taupe. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I can what, we can put taupe slash desert moss. Whatever. Yeah, I like both your, of them. And then what's your honorable mentions? And then my honorable mentions. You had the the the, the Jordan ones, the mm-hmm, neutral gray, the neutral grays. And then you got um one. the Yeezy Quantum. Okay. Right? Quantum? Come, yeah, 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 yeah. The basket. Yeah, yeah. Um the orange, yeah, right? what, I really liked the uh Jordan one court, but the white quartz, the white with the purple yeah, metallic yeah, yeah, yeah. swoosh. Yep. yep. I was thinking about getting those, but they they're too similar to the quartz that court, I have. Yeah, yeah. So I wouldn't know. Like, eh, gotta 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 be careful here. Yeah. Um it's not I mean it. the the royal. The Royal, uh, um, God, I'm blanking on the name. Not the Royals. The light blue Jordan ones. UNC, the university? No. The light blue. Oh, 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 the Hyper Royals. <laughs> the Hyper Royals. The Hyper Royals. Yeah, something Hyper Royal. Royals. Hyper Royals. I, I like that shoe. I, I Kind of too similar to the Turbo Green for me to get, but I think that's another. That's how I felt about it. I think the Turbo Green the... is better, personally. Please. Like the hyper royals are not bad. I just think the turbo greens are better, and I have the turbo greens already, so yeah. I didn't need both. Um, yeah. All if, right. If so, we're talking about shoes that came out this year, I think that's worth honorable mentioning. Yeah, okay, that's fair. That's fair. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm done with mine. What? So okay. So what shoes are you looking forward to in the rest of the year from what oh. you've seen for so far? So we got like I this said, this actually belongs in my list. Take out the hyper royals. Okay. <laughs> but the um, Travis Scott. British khakis, the sixes. Ooh, and okay. I saw them in person today. Fire. Mm-hmm. They look good. Fuego. Got a picture for Kicks in the Wild. Hey, by the way, guys, hashtag Kicks in the Wild if you have a cool pair of sneakers on. They're looking Be hot. Featured. Be featured by famous podcasters. <laughs> you can get featured by us. But, um, okay, so Rest of the year, I got a lot of high heat coming out. What shoes are you looking forward to? I already know three on my list. I already know mine. There's actually five, but I'll, I'll give you five, all five, too. Give them to me. Well, my number one is going to be for everybody, but I know what my personal number one is. Mm-hmm. My and Everybody's going to be like, well, my personal number one is the Lightning Fours. So the Lightning Fours are the yellow, the all yellow fours. Fuego. I've been wanting those for years. Still want them. Glad they're re-releasing those. Okay. Um, my second one is the Cool Gray 11s. Yes. In December. 
Um, the cool gray 11s for sure. Why does it always do a December release? They always do December release with the 11s, always. Yeah. Christmas time. But yeah. those cool gray 11s, man, I remember, I'll probably, honestly, I'm going to do everything I can to double up on those. Mm-hmm. Because they go, that's, you talking about clothes, that, uh, shoes that go with everything? That's a shoe that goes with everything. Yeah. Everything. You can never fail. You can wear a pink, black, and orange, and you could throw on those cool grays and be like, yo, this, it kind of works. But, um... That, I, uh, I have the lows, but I think the highs are better. The highs hit so good. Yeah. I, had the, I had the lows and I put them on and it just didn't feel the same and I sold them. I yeah. just gave some aluminum. And then, and then both Travis Scott's, but more the lows than the highs. The lows yeah. are way better than the highs with those, those off-white creams, sale type laces. So those are my five. The, with the blue? With the blue, yeah. Yeah. So fire. That's got to be on one of my, that's definitely on my list the travis scott's both of them the travis scott the travis scott lows mm-hmm. wait they're but okay so he's coming out of the high of he's that a high shoe. and a low the high is coming out first okay yeah i mean either <laughs> i'll take either <laughs> yeah i would too <laughs> um god let's see the other one i'm looking forward to um let me just look here you know i kind of forgot about well no i'm i'm not we'll say it now because i'm i'm curious now I like the I like the sea foam ones. Oh, those again, are not bad. Those are not bad, but it's like that turbo green vibe. Again. Yeah, it's like just it's too similar of a color wise. So I'm, I'm but I, like I do like that. Shoe. Do you like those Wu Tang uh, Air Force? I mean Jordan ones. I don't know if I know what those are. They're black and yellow. Are they um, coming out? Yeah. Black and yellow. Black and yellow. Black and yellow. Black and yellow. <laughs> I might get them. I'm a, I'm gonna try to get them. Oh. I have, no, I have no black and yellow shoes. Wait, the Jordan Force. One light you're talking about the light. Oh, I don't I don't know if I've there's seen a, those yet. There's a black and yellow ones. Okay. But you're, you'll see them soon. These shoes I think are dope. The uh Ali Alia May. Oh, those fours, those the, the 14, fours? no, the fourteens. Oh, I haven't seen those. Put yeah, them up. She just posted them on Instagram, but I don't know if you can see those now. Oh, those are wavy. Yeah, like if I was like I would I would wear I these. love the 14 lows. I've got to admit that I've been like afraid of wearing a 14 because it's very basketball. I got a 14 like, low. I think you could pull those off. I think. Yeah. You like I think I get these. Anybody. These are almost like similar to the Yeezy Quantum in a way, like the shape of the shoe. Yeah. Also. I ex- I think those are. What are your other shows? You like those? You like, you want, the, you, you're excited about the Seafoams, the Travis Scott's. What else you got? Because I know we Travis talked about Scott's. the twos. Oh, the twos. We talked about the twos. When do those come out? I think the twos come out and I don't, you know what? Don't even give me the line. I don't even remember. Don't give me the line. But <laughs> they're those like twos, white. They're like white and red, right? They're white and red and they came out with like a NYX colorway. Like yeah. black, uh, royal blue and those. orange. So I'll be honest with you. So nice. I am always, I have always been a fan of twos. Uh-huh. I've always loved twos. I just don't think they don't give them no love and respect. But I've always yeah. been a fan of twos. The reason why people don't like twos is because they crease easy as hell. But oh, for real? yeah. But what I will say about these is I like them. You know what I don't like about the shoe? It has Michael Jordan signature on it, and I don't like that. Why don't you like that? Fake. Huh? Why don't you like that? There's never a shoe that he made that he has a signature on. So why would you do that to these? It's yeah. an off-white. Just make it off-white. Like it has a very so if you haven't seen the shoe, it has a distressed vibe. And anybody who's a sneakerhead knows that the shoes over time they kind of yeah. Well, even if you're not a sneakerhead, shoes age and they yellow. So this shoe is made to look like that. It age in yellow, and it's also made to look like the sole, the midsole is cracked from aging. So it gives it the throwback vibe without the throwback vibe. That oh makes yeah, sense. I. Re- now that you're mentioning this, I don't, I don't like the way they did that. I don't like, I don't mind that so much. I don't like the signature though. Cause I think after a while, I'll just not really realize it and won't care. And I like when they do the distress vibe is because then I'll have to clean them all the time. Yeah. But, the, <laughs> but it is kind of weird the way that they made it. Like it does kind of look like the soul is cracking. Yes. Like, like legit looks like it's cracking. Yeah. So I don't know. It's a shoe. I'm going to have to see in person. Now, the funny thing is when I was online, everybody was hating on this shoe. And I was like, yo, I'm a fan of twos. I'm going to try to get them. Yeah. Everybody's going to get them because they're off-white. Yeah. Let's, but let's a lot it. of people were hating on these shoes. 
I wish I could go and timestamp everybody who hated on. A lot of people hate on a lot of shit. Like everyone is hating all over the place. Everyone stays hating on everything. Like just chill. (laughs) And they still cop. And yeah, I'm like, okay, you're still gonna get him. Okay. I mean, I I hate on some. Speaking of off white, I think the other shoe that I am looking forward to, I do like the off white dunks that are coming out. That they have like all the fifty. Yeah. But that's like, your vibe. That's your vibe. Yeah. That white, right? that neutral vibe. Mm-hmm. I just think I, I. But I want to get one with like some some color pop. Well, uh, that's so. I'm gonna actually be contra- I'm gonna contradict myself on this one. I don't like them because they're so basic, and they. I just don't feel like you really tried. Like I feel like you. These are not fifty different shoes. You just change one thing and say it's fifty different shoes. It's not fifty different shoes. The first one. Step. And the last one are the different ones. I just, yeah. I just feel like he's not trying anymore, and I just don't like it. I'm, am I going to try to get him? Yes, yes, of course, yes, absolutely. Oh, because, but it's a shoe. I want because you know why? I don't know. Look, because one of my, one of my boys is definitely going to want them, so I'll give them to, I'll sell them for retail to them, or it's a shoe that I'll see in person and be like, you know what? It's not that bad. So I have to see it in person. That's why I'm going to try to get them. So like yeah. I said, that's why I said I'll be contradicting myself. I'm a hater, but I just don't think he tried on the shoe. So let me see it in person and prove me wrong. I think there's one shoe in there that I can find that I'm going to like that I'm going to rock. I would get the pink one. So that brings us to another topic here we have. We asked some of the listeners to ask us some questions. One of the questions we received was, is the Nike Dunk the hottest shoe right now? That's a very, that's like a very general question. Is it the <laughs> hottest shoe right now? Just the silhouette of a Nike Dunk. I would have to say singular shoe, yes. Yeah. It's the hottest shoe right now. Because if you say, you can't say and pinpoint one Jordan and say it's the hottest shoe right now. I would say the, uh, would you, all right, let me ask you this question before I answer. Do you think the Jordan one right now is more popular than a Dunk? I honestly feel like you almost have it depends on what generation you're asking that question to i'm asking you do i so what was the question again? right today just today <laughs> not all time not all time just today like as of right now like as of like last two two or three years is a jordan one more popular than the dunk I mean, no, I think the the dunk is probably more popular right now. Mm. I would but I think that I think that's more more people are getting dunk like I see a lot of dunks. I see a lot of dunks. That's a hard question. Is the Jordan I, do I think that I, I think Jordan most- like I like Jordan one better. Is the Jordan one is the dunk the most popular shoe? I think it's a toss I, up. That's the shoe that like that's coming out like the most frequently. There's a dunk every week. Like, yeah, but the Jordans were like that too, though. The Jordan one was like that too. But not the Jordan one. The jo- the dunk, like the dunk in general. Like you could say Nike you dunk is this. coming out as often as Jordan, whatever. No, whatever. No, 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 no. I'm just I'm just strictly talking about a Jordan one. So yeah, there's more jo- like dunks I that think come out the Jordan, Jordan ones. I would say the Jordan one is probably the only shoe that's more popular than the dunk right now. Personally, because you can put any colorway on a Jordan one that's going to sell out. I don't feel that way about every dunk, but I think, I think, I think because of Jordan, I think I would say Jordan one is the most popular shoe right now, but the dunk is like very close right behind it. But there's more dunks being released than Jordan one. But no, you have to like this year, but not last year. There wasn't. I don't think so. There's a lot of Jordan ones that came out last year, but they also you got to think we're about. We're talking about right here, right now. Right here, right now. <laughs> they're releasing. They're releasing more because Jordan's been coming out, so you can only come out with so many colorways now. The Jordan one exactly. Been, the dunk the took dunks a break. Come out in like all these different colorways, left right. and right. This I'll and give that. You that. Like I'll there's you that. high tops, low tops. Like I've. I just think there's a lot of dunks, and that tells me that they're very popular. With they always sell out. 
and they always reach certain generations. <laughs> I, you know what? Like, right now, I'll put it like this. Crazy. I'll put it like this. Yes, I'll say the Dunk is the most popular shoe right now. Here's why. I'm a, I just came to this conclusion. <laughs> you don't need to change your mind from, from me. No, it's not for you. It's for me. So, <laughs> here's why, though. I just my number one shoe of the year so far is a Dunk. Okay. Yeah. A Jordan a Jordan one wasn't in my top three. Or my honorable mention, so so I would say the the dunk is probably hot, and that, and that's not even and I, they came out with I would say the top ten shoes of the year or the last two years I would say four of them probably been dunks. I can't say four of them been Jordan ones because if I said the top five the top ten shoes in the last ten years I know the chunky dunkies are up there. I know the Chunky Dunkies come out last year or year before last. It was I last have no year. idea. <laughs> anyway, the Chunky Dunkies, the P Rods, all those, all those like uh, the the Strange Love Dunks, all the the Crab Dunks. What about like, like the like Ben and Jerry's? The, that's the Chunky Dunkies. Is that the Chunky? Are you Chunky Dunky or Chunky Monkey? Chunky Dunky. Oh, that makes sense. Because it's a dunk. Because yeah. it's a dunk. <laughs> yeah. So those, um, like all those 420 dunks. The that, skunk, like Stingray one. The skunk dunks, the strange loves. Yeah. So I would say the dunk, yes. So to answer that person's question, yes, the dunk is the hottest shoe right now. Yes, that's why. So yes, it is. I think that's almost like the highest demand shoe that so far this year too absolutely the you know, like is that like, one's got like the most hype like yeah I the just, p-rod for sure there's no jordan yeah. one that's there's no jordan one that's nobody that the only jordan one that people are excited about is travis scott mm -hmm. and i don't think but i don't think the travis scott is hotter than the the, the p-rod dunk either one of them if i'm being honest mm okay okay so, all right so are we doing one question or are we doing another one? Oh, next question and then we got probably got to wrap it up after this. What do you do when your boyfriend looks more passionately at his kicks than he does at you? <laughs> Who the hell asked this question? What do you It's do a valid question. I mean, I've been in that situation before. And Where, so what do you do when he looks more passionately at his kicks or yeah. kicks in general? Like when your man is more into his kicks than he is you, the girlfriend. Get better kicks. That's so what I guess, what would, you, what would you do if your lady was more into her shoes than she was into you? <laughs> you say get I better would, kicks? I would get better kicks. Like, I mean, there's nothing <laughs> else. Like, or I'll just show up naked with, with a kick over my, you know. <laughs> 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 Like choose one, you know. Love you both, I baby. Say, I would probably, I honestly, I would probably just say, get better kicks, and that means your kick game is not where it needs to be. So you, you know what you need to do. Honestly, no, true advice. Make it something that you guys do together. Like, hey, Aww, I want to have better crazy. shoes. I want to have better shoes. Hey, babe, help me, help me pick out what shoes, um, I like or what shoes you would like to see me in. Boom, boom, boom. So you both win. So there you go. That's 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 some love advice. Right, so are you, oh, so are you answering there. that question because you, I guess, would love? Okay. So how do I how do I word this? Will you pay more attention to your girlfriend if she's got shoes? So like you're paying more attention to them because she's wearing good shoes. <laughs> so I you're gonna more, look more passionately at her feet. No, nah, I just think <laughs> I just think I think it's a combination of both. You seeing someone you love and something you love. Exactly. Okay. So it's a win-win, but I mean, you gotta understand. Like, it's like, okay, how do girls look at like makeup or handbags? You know, like some things yeah. you, just, you just don't try to win on. You just try to be part of. I love you both, baby. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. There you go. Well, so, yeah. I think that's a wrap for. Rafford Knight shooting the shit with Chris and Kels tonight. We were yeah, just gonna yeah. throw well, it like out there, see what came out of our mouth. Right. Make it fun. So thanks for tuning in. Yes, yeah, the mid year um, wrap up. What? The mid year wrap up. 
mid-year wrap up. Okay. You heard it here. Um, but yeah, that's a wrap. Tune in next week. Make sure you guys follow us on Instagram, subscribe to the podcast on iTunes, Spotify, check us out on YouTube. If you want to see our beautiful faces and, and us, you know, showing off some of our kicks, <laughs> Not, not, that's not, not a beautiful not that face. I'm making right now, that but it's okay. It? it's okay. It's great. Um, but yeah, check in and tune in next week. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's your Instagram? Oh, sorry. My Instagram. Oh, I got a, I got a new little tagline here. So it's Kelsey Cristiano. Cristiano does not have an H. So get the H out of here. Ooh. I like that one. Get the H but, out of here. Yep. So. Cristiano, like Cristiano Ronaldo. What's yours? C underscore hollows, hollow, no A. <laughs> All right, give us a follow, guys. You can find us at kicks of the trade dot podcast on Instagram. You can also find us on Twitter. So check yeah, us out on Twitter, on Twitter, kicks of the trade. We're funny um, as hell. We're, we're great everywhere. <laughs> so. All right, you have a good rest of your week, guys, and we'll see you next week. Peace.